To export a PDF from Adobe InDesign, we'll go to File, Export. Notice that the exported file will take on the same name as the InDesign document, but you can change that if necessary. Choose the correct format, in this case, Adobe PDF Print, but notice there are several other options. Finally, set the location to save the exported file. When you're done, click Save. You'll now see the PDF export window. I'm going to choose the Press Quality preset. That's a good place to start. I can specify the exact range of pages that I would like to export. Go ahead and take a look at some of the other options that are available here as well. For compression, I'll go ahead and stick with the Press Quality preset settings. Now let's look at marks and bleeds. By selecting Crop Marks, we can add crop marks to our exported PDF document. If a bleed is necessary, go ahead and make those adjustments here as well. We won't need to change anything else, but notice some of the other options. Security, we can even add a password to the PDF. Let's go ahead and export. Let's go to the Finder and take a look at my project folder. There's the newly created area code PDF. Let's go ahead and open up that PDF in Adobe Acrobat. Notice the crop marks that have been added to the document, as well as the bleed settings that we've specified. 